Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Geek. In today's video, we are going to continue with our Wireshark series. Now, in my previous video, I told you guys how to start packet capturing in Wireshark and how to understand color code and how can you start and save packets and later on you can examine them. And I showed you one particular video, uh, I mean, uh, part where you can get passwords so those will be shown in the upcoming videos now in today's video we are going to see how you can scan an ip address of a particular person how you can scan ip address of source and destination so in today's video we are just going to discuss about the ip addresses okay so in my next video which will be on how to scan whole wi-fi network which will uh, tell you guys how to understand the protocol and what else you can do with those IP address networks. So let's continue the video. So here we are and now we're gonna start the Wireshark tool in from the terminal itself. So as you can see it's been started now if you have seen the previous video you will know how to identify this uh, which interface you are connected to i am connected to eth0 now if you are not seen i'll just show you guys once again you have to just go and type if config and once you do that you can see over here your interface name eth0 which will tell you that which interface you are connected with right now let me just minimize this one and double click on this one so now you can see the packet scanning has been start and as i told you guys about wireshark if you are connected if you are running wireshark normally it will just give you the packets which you have i mean whatever is going on on your system not about uh, the whole wi-fi network so in today's video our aim is to understand the ip addresses how can you scan particular ip address right now as you can see over here in the terminal my ip address is 172.17190122 so over here you can see my ip address will be somewhere here it's not there okay i think i stopped very early okay okay let's just continue once again and let it capture some few packets so i have told you about the uh, what are the protocols will be so in my upcoming video i will tell you the protocols about them very nicely because if you will not understand if i say it in this and what are the importance of those you can only understand if i show you guys practically in my next video so i'm just gonna stop it right now wait a minute i'm gonna stop this one okay now over here you can see this is the source where is we can see over there's a source IP address and there's a destination IP address and this is the protocol which is UDP ARP mostly you can see ARP it's nothing but uh, what's the ARP is like it's address resolution protocol so mostly you will see the communication protocols which are just asking and communicating communicating with each other so you can see TCP and UDP and ARP right now if you see my IP address right over here which is 190.122 right now i'm gonna scan the ip address for one particular person which is mine so for that the syntax i mean the command is one point ip2 as you can see over there addr is equal to equal to and my ip address oops let me just copy my ip address from here which is copy and insert it here so right now you see it's been turned to green which means the syntax is correct if there is any fault in the syntax you can see it's turned red now i'm just going to give the equal sign back now we have applied the filter for scanning for my ip address if you are scanning the whole wi-fi network you can give someone else ip address and you can see what they are doing right now we cannot do that because we are running wireshark normally so i'm just gonna start the packet capturing once again and uh, you can see there is not much changes in the packet scanning right over here there's the ip address now you can see that there is no much changes because it's going to tell you what's going on on my net system not the whole wi-fi so you will not notice much changes 
but uh, when I'll be doing the whole Wi-Fi scan, you will notice it very easily. Okay, right now you can see this, the scan we did it for a particular IP address and I did it for mine. Now, if you want to do an IP address scan for a source IP address from where it is coming, so the command will be ip.src okay now equal to equal to now you have to give the ip address we are going to give this ip address 172.172.17.190.219 now you can see this is the source ip address through this you can understand what's been sent from a source you can see the packets and what's gonna reach to the destination and what the destination ip address is going to send back that also you can see but uh, in this you cannot but I'm just telling you the basics of how to scan an IP addresses so for that much we'll let's just start scanning once again so if I do the scanning you can see over here you will not see much in the interface right now you cannot see too much about it it looks common all the time right now you will not see any difference because it telling me what's going on on my system because as you can see vmware is running yep so you'll not see any much changes so i'm gonna stop it now for the destinations ip address scanning you can, see, you can use this one which has been communicating 2192255 so you can just go over here change 192.191 and 255 right now and for destination our command is dst that's the syntax right if the syntax is correct the column will be green if it's wrong it is gonna be red so it's easy to understand now if i'm gonna run it once again so the scanning and filtering has been done for the destination one so you'll not see much thing but you can see over here it's the particular ip address you can see a little bit of it so when i'll be doing i'm just gonna stop it right now yeah. So when I'll be doing for the whole Wi-Fi network, you can easily understand it. And about the protocols, as I told you, UDP, RP is mostly going on. So when you will be doing whole Wi-Fi network, you can see ICMP, HTTP, UDP, TCP. There are many protocols you can see over there. DNS you can see. So when I will be doing the particular IP scan or I'll be doing the source or destination scan, you can see the filtering very clearly and precisely and with the we can do let me just show you guys so for example if you want to let me just uh, wait a minute so for example if you want to see only UDP packet right protocol so you have to type UDP over here now you, as it's green which means the syntax is correct and you start scanning so now whatever protocol is going to come it's just going to give a UDP 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 and you can see his ARP because it's just gonna ask whom is gonna come and get it okay so most of the time you'll not see much changes because it's communicating so it's showing you TCP and UDP right now so in this video our goal was to teach you guys how to scan an IP address for a particular IP address how to scan source IP address how to scan destination IP addresses so when I'll show you guys the scanning of whole IP I mean the Wi-Fi network it will be easy for you guys to scan for a particular and source or destination and how to filter with the help of protocols it will help you guys to understand very nicely okay so with that video we're gonna end it over here and we'll see in the next video till then goodbye